Hello, namaste and welcome to Let's Talk Health, a public interest initiative by Apollo Hospitals. Hi, my name is Dr. Shubham Pant and today we're going to talk about obesity. So how serious is this problem? Let's find out. Steadily growing to epidemic proportions, obesity is an increasing cause of worry in India. In a country where 270 million people live below the poverty line, obesity seems like a distant problem of the rich. But it's not true. 30 million Indians live with obesity. Third only behind the US and China. With unhealthy processed food being its biggest cause. Do you guys know how we measure obesity? Anybody know how we measure obesity? Right there. It's BMI. What does BMI stand for? Uh, body mass index. Body mass index. Well, let me show you. There, there are different ways to measure it. So body mass index is one way. The other way is, which is gaining more traction, is weight, waist to hip ratio. All right? So body mass index is one way. And that's kind of falling behind. So I've got this tape, my friend. OK, what's your name? Anand. Anand, welcome to the show. Please, a big round of applause for Anand. I've measured it for Anand and are you guys guessing? Uh, it's about 50, all right? And then you measure the hip at the, at the widest parts in the hip. And this is about 45. So that's 50 divided by 45, and that's more than one, right? So the healthy waist to hip ratio should be less than 0.9 in men and 0.85 in women, all right? Less than 0.9 in men and less than 0.85 in women. And unfortunately, yours is higher than one, so you really need to uh, get with a diet and exercise routine. All right? All right, Anand, thank you so much for coming on stage. Thank you. Big round of applause. To tell us more about obesity and its treatment, please welcome Dr. Arun Prasad, Senior Consultant Surgeon in Apollo Hospital. Dr. Prasad. Welcome to the show, Dr. Prasad. Please. How do people get obese? Uh, is it just eating wrong, or is there something else associated with it? Well, eating wrong is a major part because unless you get the calories, you can't get fat. Okay. And but what's a normal calorie intake? Uh, normal calorie intake, we are looking at about 2,000 odd uh, calories a day. Okay. But there is this concept known as thrifty genes. So we have thrifty the genes. Thrifty genes. So we have these genes which have been there for centuries where we have to store food. Okay. Because we were part of the culture where food was not easily available. Okay. So the genes have made us such that any food that comes, we, we store just hold it. on to it. We just hold on okay. to it, especially fat. Okay. But over the years, the lifestyle has changed, but the genes have remained the same. So you're saying Indian genes are different from Caucasian genes or you know yes. genes from other parts of the yes. world? Indian and Southeast Asia, our genes are quite different. And you're saying it's not that great to have those genes. This is not the good one genes to have. This is well, not. Well, it was great in those days, okay. where you know somebody, who, lady who's pregnant, who's to breastfeed, uh -huh. the genes help them to store that kind oh. of energy which was useful at a later date. But now it's become a liability. You're right. So to tell us more about hospitals tackle obesity, please welcome Ms. Shobna Kamineni, Executive Vice Chairperson of Polo Hospital. Ms. Kamineni, welcome Hello. to the program. I had a you know, question about what other services can the hospital provide for obesity? You know, what other, do you guys have some services which you can provide to these patients who are obese? Well, the big one is that uh, we have a great nutrition and dietetics department. Okay. So that's the first one that helps you. And more and more of our hospitals are working with, uh, uh, with fitness and, and making sure that happens. But I think more than that, we have the helpline okay. that, that people can actually call. And, and it's, it's a process. And we'll give so the number of the helpline. I think that's sure. a very important helpline to, to know. Be, so we'll give the number of the helpline. You need to you need to be coached through that. It works actually yeah. through our app. Okay. So so through, through the uh, app. Yeah. Health app or app. That's the one. That's, that's great. One. So a lot of my friends, family members ask me. They say, you know, Dr. Pant, we are trying to lose weight. You know, I'm running or I'm walking the treadmill, but I'm still not losing weight. So what's the problem? And let me show you guys what's the problem. I'm going to do a little experiment called the samosa experiment. As you can see, we have samosas there. So Shobna, if you could help me with the samosa experiment. Come over here. Uh, as long as I don't have to <laughs> eat it. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to eat the samosas. Okay. So if you guys answer right on the samosa experiment, I've got a couple of giveaways, healthy giveaways for you. So we've got some uh, green tea, I've got a pedometer, and I've got some really healthy cookies to give you if you do right on the samosa experiment, okay? So my question is, is, if you walk on a treadmill at 5.6 kilometers an hour, how many minutes do you have to walk to burn this one samosa off? 
Jovna, how many do you think? Well, you burn 350 calories okay. an hour if you're walking at 5.6. Okay. So I would think that anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. 45 we, minutes we to an hour, that's... We have a thrifty gene. Thrifty so let's, let's, let's take... <laughs> minutes. Let's, let's, let's so take what do you guys hour. think? Do you agree with Shobna or not? 45 minutes to an hour or less than that? Do you all agree? All right, so I think that lady back there said it first. Ma'am, come up here. That was a great. So it's 45 minutes. So remember, guys, you don't burn a lot of the samosas by just walking. So it's diet and exercise. So diet is the big thing. Exercise is a part That's of it true. also. But diet is a very vital component of it. So, you know, we've saw, seen how food can be helped. Now let's see how technology is helping us keep healthy. Our first app this week is called Lose It. Available on all Android and iOS devices. With Lose It, not only can you track how much you eat and all those calories you consume, you can also track if you're getting enough exercise. Just feed in your current weight and your desired goal weight and then lose it. Next up, we have Fooducate, available on iOS and Android devices. Fooducate helps you spot those tricky, unhealthy foods quickly by cutting your research time in half. Simply scan the barcode and Fujugate will give you a rating for the food scanned based on calorie counts per serving, processing techniques and amount of excess sugar. If you want to save time and choose healthy, go grocery shopping with Fujugate. That is how technology can help us stay healthy. Now we were talking about something really interesting in the break, uh, Dr. Prasad, which was orthorexia. Now what is orthorexia? Yes, well, orthorexia is an interesting new terminology. You know, it comes from anorexia. Orthorexia is an obsession about eating healthy food. Okay. So that's also a problem which has come up. So nothing where, extremes. Yeah. Moderation is the key. Yes. So, you know, people who are totally obsessed, what are they eating, what are they not eating? And also to the extent, what are their colleagues, friends, wives, children eating? So, you know, you get obsessed. So that's a new term which I'm is known as seeing orthorexia. I'm tons of that. I mean, tons of orthorexia? Ne never knew that term, but... You know, I think that kids nowadays, or, uh -huh. or even, you know, all of us, Young adults, yeah, we're, all of us. we're spending so much of our time thinking, you know, okay, I can't eat this, I have to do this, or, you know, about losing just weight. Just so much focus on that, you're just yeah, thinking more about it than doing it's something. Huge, and it yeah. can be harmful, because somebody will say, okay, fine, I'm not going to have a drop of fat. And that's not good, because if you don't have fat, you develop uh, fat-soluble vitamin deficiencies. That's right. Well, I think that it's really important for us to say that, what morbidly obese are the ones that really need intervention and some drastic mm -hmm. and then there are those that can can get to their goals by doing other things and there are those that you know don't need to be obsessing so much about this and and staying healthy is really the most important thing. okay the right balance so the right balance so important so important well it's now it's time for a break but there's lots more still to come stay tuned to let's talk health is bariatric surgery for everyone we offer this surgery when the obesity becomes a risk to life this gentleman he was 240 kilos and here now he, he has reduced to 120 Welcome back to Let's Talk Health, a public interest initiative by Apollo Hospital. Before the break, we talked about obesity. Now we are going to find out what things can we do about obesity. And one of the things is bariatric surgery. It's gotten really popular. Arun Jaitley had it, Nitin Gadkari had it, Adnan Sami had it. And so let us look at an AV to see what the procedure is really about. Bariatric surgery is a procedure intended for weight loss performed by reducing the size of the stomach with a gastric band or through the removal of a small portion of the stomach. It is considered a treatment option for patients with a BMI of 40 kg per square meter or for those who instituted but failed an adequate exercise and diet program. The patient is admitted early in the morning of the day of the surgery. At the start of the surgery, the patient is given adequate anesthesia and the part of the abdomen where the surgery is to be performed is cleaned and draped. 
small 7 mm cuts are made on the skin and instruments are introduced into the stomach. The robot is wheeled in next to the patient. Once the robotic arms are connected to the instruments, the surgeon takes charge of the console from where he controls the movements of the instruments inside the stomach. The stomach is stapled and cut to size and then joined to the intestine. This is the end of the surgery. The patient is discharged from hospital the very next day. So Dr. Prasad, the we saw that surgery and I think you were the surgeon on that, on, on that film, so that's great. Tell me though, you know, people always ask, is bariatric surgery for everyone? You know, I mean, don't we have to choose the right patient for bariatric surgery? Yes, you're absolutely right. Bariatric surgery is the last resort. Last resort, okay. Where everything else has failed. We offer this surgery when the obesity becomes a risk to life. Okay. So we will do bariatric surgery only when we are convinced that your BMI is of the range where the obesity has become a risk to your life. What is the BMI of risk? What is the risk See, BMI? the BMI risk in the overall it is 40, but for Indians it is 37.5, mm -hmm. where we would offer surgery straight away. But tell me, once they've had surgery, then what if you know, they start eating again and what if they get obese again? So how, does that, how, does, how do you prevent that? There are many types of bariatric surgery uh -huh. and we have a long counseling session where I get to know his lifestyle, his physical activity, what kind of food he eats, whether he eats veg, non-veg, bulk eater, sweet eater, volume eater, whether they take a lot of liquid calories. Based on that, we decide that, okay, you're going to have this particular kind of surgery. Now you were showing me on your phone before about some successes that you've had and how do patients communicate with you? You showed me really interesting things. Can you share it with our audience? Yes. Now technology has definitely helped us a lot. That's right. This gentleman, he was 240 kilos. 240 kilos. Okay. That is, that is pretty and heavy. And here now it, he has reduced 220. Wow. And, and we aim to reach 80 kgs in wow. some time to come. Uh, important thing about bariatric surgery is it cures diabetes in many patients. Okay. So suddenly people who are taking anti-diabetics, the blood sugar levels can crash down. Okay. So it's important he sends me those reports, he sends me his iron report, whether he's developing anemia, what kind of diet he's eating. Now let's see a case study of a success story of bariatric surgery. 47 year old Harminder weighed 107 kilos suffering from hyperthyroidism and was diagnosed as a pre-diabetic. Doctors warned him of a tough life ahead. People on the streets looked at him strangely and his family did not know how to help him. Harminder felt helpless and stuck with nowhere to go to and no one to turn to. I have worked for three years in the gym and have eaten every father's drink and have eaten every गरम पट्टी, ठंडी पट्टी, और इवन दन सी शासन भी करके देख लिया, अपने आप को खाना नहीं खा के देख लिया, आज मैं फास्ट पे रहूँगा, आज मैं लिक्विड डाइट पे रहूँगा, आज मैं फ्रूट्स खाऊँगा, ओके, आज मैं सिर्फ नॉनवेज खाऊँगा, सिर्फ चिकन चिकन खाने से ठीक हो जाता है, तो नहीं कुछ हुआजी। a chance meeting with his doctor who told him about the bariatric surgery changed his life forever. In today's date, 12 or 15 kilo vajan has been reduced within 40 days. After surgery, like I had surgery on Saturday, in 48 hours, I went to the car and went to the car and went to the fourth floor. Today, Harminder admits that he took his body for granted, but also promises that his second chance will not be for nothing. Really, I feel, I'm saying, I feel like I'm flying like this. I felt like I was an elephant, now where can I fly? As we have Harminder with us today. Please welcome Harminder to the show. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Please welcome to the show. आपके डॉक्टर हैं सर अच्छा है आपने जब्ती मारी है ना बिल्कुल सर इन्होंने तो मुझे दोबारा इंसान बना दिया है सो हरमंदर जी टेल अस व्हाई डिड यू ऑप्ट फॉर दिस सर्जरी आपने क्यों ऑप्ट किया कि आप ये सर्जरी में करेंगे मैं जैसे पहले बताया था एक लास्ट उसमें कि मैंने सब कुछ ट्राई किया था जी � सब चालीसा मैंने चालीसा भी किया था रियली आपको मैं बताऊं जिम चालीसा समझिए आप डाइट चालीसा कीजिए समझिए मैंने ये भी किया था 
तो करीब मैं पिछले चार पांच साल से लगा हुआ हूँ कि भाई मेरे को वापस अपना वेट करना है तो हार्ट डिजीज हमारी फैमिली में ऑलरेडी थी जीन जीन में हमारे थी ये सो यू वांटेड टू वॉच आउट फॉर दैट कि यू डोंट फॉल प्रे टू दैट हंड्रेड परसेंट राइट हरमेंदर नाउ यू अंडरवेंट द सर्जरी वी सॉ दैट नाउ हाउ यू डूइंग आफ्टर द सर्जरी आई यू मोर एनर्जेटिक लेस कैसा है एनी कॉम्प्लिकेशन एनीथिंग बहुत एनर्जेटिक फील हो रहा है जी मैं पहले पार्क में जाता था सुबह मॉर्निंग में तो एक या दो राउंड ऑफ्स में एक किलोमीटर का फर्क है एक दो राउंड ऑफ में थक के बैठ जाते थे अभी तो जैसे मैं स्टार्टिंग तो ले रहा हूँ हाफ एंड आवर रस्ट लेते हैं और चाय पी के मैं चला जाता हूँ मॉर्निंग वॉक पे आफ्टर रियल मॉर्निंग वॉक नॉट रियल मॉर्निंग वॉक 15 मोर देन 15 राउंड अप उसका पारक का पूरा 15 दैट्स ऑसम हमारी पूरी जो चेन है फ्रेंड्स की वो सब थक जाते हैं कहते हैं हम बैठ रहे हैं मैं क्या हाँ तुम लोग बैठो एक एक करके फिर सबसे मैं जो सबसे पहले बैठने वाला उसी चेन में आज मैं सबसे लास्ट में बैठता हूँ और वो भी फिर मैं कोशिश करता हूँ कि एक दौड़ के रन करके चक्कर लगा लूँ अपने आप कि भाई उससे थोड़ा सा और सेटअप हो जाए मेरे को अपने आप को इतना अच्छा फील हो रहा है कि मैं कह नहीं पा रहा हूँ जस्ट ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वॉट हरमिंदर बेरियाट्रिक सर्जरी इट चेंजेस योर डाइट पैटर्न यू आर नॉट फोर्स टू ईट लेस बट वॉट हैपन्स यू फील सेटिस्फाइड विद लेस फूड एंड वंस योर वेट स्टार्ट रिड्यूसिंग एज ही राइटली साइकोलॉजिकली यू ऑल्सो फील बेटर साइकोलॉजिकली यू फील बेटर एंड यू आर change of metabolism means you can exercise more like he can walk more without feeling tired big round of applause for harmander guys he's 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 doing very well harmander thank you so much 17 kg is a you know now as harmander said it's truly diet and exercise and to show us about some exercise routines we have shanli vadera in our studio shanli welcome to the program shanli welcome to the program thank so you. shanli tell me um, you know we've been talking about how to stay fit so what kind of You know, give, give us some tips how to stay fit. Well, work out, work eat out. healthy, eat healthy, breathe enough, keep your life de-stressed. Ashanli, why don't you show us some moves? What I'm going to show today is something which is very simple. It's called Surya Namaskar. It's a sequence of ten asanas, but you have to be sure that you do it under the guidance of an able, certified yoga instructor. If you have any health issues, you need to get an okay from your doctor. During or after the sequence, if you feel anything uh, different, any pain, you need to consult with your doctor and immediately stop. This is how you started. That's your first asana. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hold your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And back. With the second leg now. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hold your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And back. Now I need a round of applause. I don't think I can do that. Uh, inhale or exhaling. I don't think I let me stretch that. Oh, no, it's not working for me. So remember always under a certified physician that's very important uh, talk to a certified yoga instructor just do not try this at home by yourself Absolutely Shanli not. is uh, fit she's a yoga instructor she knows how to do this guys another round of applause Shanli thank you so much thank you appreciate thank it Shanli you. thank you so much thank you. now that is Shanli showing us how to stay fit uh, you know we have Dr Prasad here who's a very accomplished surgeon so can we have some audience questions any audience questions for Dr Prasad jaise koi ladki apna ye surgery karati hai मैरिज के बाद वो प्रेग्नेंट होती है तो कोई उसमें कॉम्प्लिकेशन तो नहीं आएगा दैट्स अ वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन मेनी पीपल आस्क नाउ देयर आर टू थिंग्स इवन बिफोर गेटिंग प्रेग्नेंट एनीबडी हु इज मॉर्बिडली ओबीज वुड बी हैविंग अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इनफर्टिलिटी पॉलीसिस्टिक ओवेरियन डिजीज व्हिच प्रिवेंट्स यू फ्रॉम गेटिंग प्रेग्नेंट सो द बेरियाट्रिक सर्जरी इन मेनी ओकेजंस द गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट रेफर द पेशेंट्स टू अस सो दैट यू नो यू रिड्यूस वेट एंड द इनफर्टिलिटी इज सॉल्व ओके आफ्टर द सर्जरी यू आर नॉट अलाउड टू गेट प्रेग्नेंट फॉर अबाउट अ ईयर अबाउट अ ईयर ओके व्हाइल द बॉडी न्यूट्रिशन गेट्स एडजस्टेड एंड यस यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट इन सम ऑफ द प्रोसीजर्स व्हिच वी कॉल एज मेलोब्सॉर्प्टिव प्रोसीजर द गर्ल हैज टू बी क्वाइट केयरफुल विद हर डाइट 
when she gets pregnant because she has to be very sure that she gets enough iron, enough uh, minerals, enough vitamins, enough protein in her diet. But these are things which we would be talking to them, counseling them even before surgery. Okay, wonderful answer, Dr. Prasad. That's very good. So guys, that's about the end of our show. So Shanli showed you how you can stay fit by doing yoga. We're going to show you right now, Harminder is going to show you right now, how to stay fit by a different way. And we call it high intensity exercise or bhangra. Right, Harminder ji, aye, aye, cue the music.